Welcome, welcome to another full adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we're going to solve another of my burning questions. Questions that keep me up at night because I do not know the answer. So I'm going to find out the answer. So if you look at the menu at a McDonald's, you notice one of the cheapest burgers they have is a cheeseburger. But there's also another small burger called a hamburger. Then I was thinking, wait a minute. In Singapore, the McDonald's is halal. So you can't have pork. So what is this hamburger? So my burning question is, what's the difference between a hamburger and a cheeseburger? I guess I will have to find out. Yep, I'm heading there soon. So this is McDonald's. This is the place that will answer my burning question. My burning question. What's the difference between a cheeseburger and a hamburger? And do they taste different? Price-wise, slightly different, but they are very cheap burgers that you can get at McDonald's. And so I ordered it, and I'm going to take away the burger back home to eat. And here it is. It's in here. I also got a drink to wash down the burger after I have eaten it. So, I did it. I ordered their cheeseburger and their hamburger, even though I suspect that there's no ham in here. And if you look at the pictures, I think, I suspect, the only difference between these two burgers is one of them has cheese, one of them doesn't have a cheese. No cheese. But the only way to find out is to open it up and try it. And also, I bought a chicken burger, a McChicken. Last time it used to come in a yellow packaging. Now it comes in a white packaging with a green chicken. Okay, normally green chicken means that the chicken has gone bad. But, I don't know, I mean, this is your choice for marketing. So I have unwrapped the burgers. The burgers are now naked. Naked to the eye. As you can see, this is the cheeseburger. Uh, Bun-wise, looks quite similar. And as you can see, cheese. No cheese, but there seems to be a kind of a mustardy yellow sauce. Okay, let's open it up and let's have a look inside. Uh, ooh. Okay. Here, also the same. But underneath here, there's something here. Okay. So you have tomato, probably mustard. That's all. A bit pathetic. How about here? Let's see if we can. Ooh. Okay. As you can see, there is also a yellow sauce, but the difference here is there's a pickle and there's onions. The hamburger doesn't have that. So let's bite into it and... Oh, one more. This burger here cost me $2. But you got a sesame seed bun, you got lettuce and a tartar sauce with the chicken. Hmm, the chicken now does look a bit more pathetic, doesn't it? So let's start with the most simple burger, the hamburger. How does it taste? Hmm. Hmm. Surprisingly nice. Get the taste. The sourish tomato ketchup taste, then a bit of the mustard, slight, not too spicy. Then you can taste the meat, the burger patty. Now the cheeseburger. I bite the pipe with the cheese since there is cheese. Mm. I got the pickle. So all I taste is just a pickle. I have another bite to taste. Mm. 
definitely you can taste the cheese, but for taste purposes, I think the hamburger tastes better. You can taste more the flavors of the burger. In the cheeseburger, the cheese nudes out a bit of the of the burger patty taste, but still very good. And my favorite, my normal go-to cheap burger at McDonald's is the McChicken. I think they shrunk the patty size. So now when you bite into the burger, you taste more of the bread than the patty. But other than that, it's still the same. So, surprisingly, something I don't expect. The hamburger, out of these three burgers, tastes the best. Even though it's the most simple, the most basic, some, but sometimes, Basic, the best. You know, you do things simple, but all the flavors are highlighted right, nicely. Mm. Mm. So, even to try a cheap burger at McDonald's, I think you should choose the hamburger. Hamburger, or just a light snack. Hamburger will do, will make it, will hit the spot. That's what you should choose. The other burgers now, especially the Big Mac, oh, cannot eat already. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, little taste test. You know, you know, sometimes I do have burning questions, like how many um, Inari sushis that I can stuff into my mouth. I did find out the answer, but I didn't make a video about that. Or did I? Anyway. As per usual, like, share, and subscribe. I got Patreon, I got PayPal, support me on those. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next food adventure as I explore all the different types of food in Singapore. And join me there. I'll be looking out for you. Bye-bye.